Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? This is Adrian Boisel. And today I wanna to talk about designing a pitch deck. If you're a creative, if you're a web designer, graphic designer, motion designer, agency owner, designing a pitch deck is an absolutely crucial way to productize your offer, productize your services, which allows you to position it uniquely from everybody else and give you a really strong pitch in order to get in front of your customer and have a visual aid. So today I've been getting a lot of feedback from people about my pitch decks that they've seen over the last few weeks. And I wanna make a video showing you exactly how I design my pitch decks step-by-step step so you can implement this into your business and use one of my secret sales tools that I use to crush it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna name your pitch deck. You're gonna name what this service is. You wanna productize it, right? So I gave it a name, the Purpose Driven Website. Right, and then I gave it a slogan, the website you've always needed. This is a really important aspect is productizing your offer, productizing your service, whether it's a branding project, a web design project, a social media package, um, a graphic design t-shirt package, whatever that product is, that service you're offering, you need to productize it. Then once you have to productize it, then your first deck should be explaining the value of what it is in the simplest form possible. So what is a purpose-driven website? A custom tailored website program that combines proven strategies to achieve your goals and monetize your purpose. Pretty straightforward. Then my third slide here you can see here is, what is the purpose of your website? Your website should function as a robot that helps accomplish your purpose. It should produce consistent results that yield a high return on investment. That is the design behind this all-inclusive website program. Now I've explained exactly what all of this is. Now I go into what the typical problem is. So problem solution, this is a really big part in pitch decks you wanna focus on. So the problem is, is most people's websites are expense versus what we do, it's an investment. So we show our solution, everything that we do and all the different services, and then here's the pain of what these clients are feeling. And when you start to go through this with the people, they're like, oh yeah, I've, I've, I know exactly. And they now feel like you relate to them. They understand the problem. They understand the challenge that they're facing and you have the solution for that. You're solving all those problems right there. The next pitch deck slide here that we have is why a purpose-driven website is effective. Showing the difference, we offer the brand strategy, the marketing strategy, the dedicated coach, the creative design team, high-powered copywriting, cutting-edge technology, marketing automation, unbeatable support, right? This is a lot to pack into one deck. So then once I've identified all these things and I've bullet pointed them out and why it's effective, now I'm gonna go and actually talk about each of those things. So what is the brand strategy? These are all the bullet points for brand strategy. These are all the bullet points for marketing strategy. These are all the bullet points for a dedicated coach for my creative design team. I'm building value in each of the things that I talked about. Cutting edge technology, the marketing automation, I'm building a lot of value in each of these and explaining these in depth with the client. And you don't have to go too deep, but enough to actually explain and build value in each of these areas so they can see the difference between you and everybody else that you're not cutting corners. Now the next piece is the unbeatable support and then giving some social proof, a case study, right? This is an example of the website that we did. There's the before and here's the after. I'm showing what we did before and after. Then I'm showing them what our program includes. So here's the proven strategies that our program includes and it includes premium development. So all of those things that I talked about that I built all that value in and then I talk about all the development that we're gonna be doing which continues to build more value. Now I'm already 16 slides in and they're like, wow, this is a lot, this is, this is impressive. And then when I get to my price, when I throw a price like this out for a website, they're not gonna be like, oh, I mean, it might shock them a little bit and I want my prices to shock people, but it's not gonna be surprising because they're gonna see the amount of work and time and effort and the before and after that we have of this. And then of course, the next thing they're gonna wanna know is what is the investment? What is the website or what is the process? Here is the website process of everything. It's about a 45 day turnaround. You wanna set realistic expectations. If you can get it done in two weeks, great. That just means you have an extra three, four weeks be able to get it done. An extra time you can deliver the project early and over promise and over deliver, right? Not under promise and over deliver, but over promise and over deliver. And then you can see here, I added in some social proof. So what do our clients say about us? I got a testimonial here of an actual video of a client saying that we generated them a million dollars in 12 months. I got a written testimonial, a written testimonial, a written testimonial. And then finally, I lead them to that call to action. Having a strong call to action in your deck is really important. So as you saw there, the description, right, productizing my offer, what it is, why it's valuable, what's the problem in the industry and why we're having this conversation, how do we solve it, then going from how do we solve it, here's all the things that we do to how we solve it, to here's a case study of one example of what we did and I can put multiple in there if I wanted to, and then 
social proof, right? I end it with the social proof and then a strong call to action. This is the way a pitch deck should be done. This is the way I do a lot of my pitch decks, just kind of give you a little bit more of a sneak peek here. You can see I've done a lot of pitch decks for different programs that we have. We have purpose-driven websites. I have my skill stacker program. I actually did this one at Digital Marketer and taught this method. I can't go deep into this. This is kind of secret proprietary as of right now. I've only shared this at one event, but this is one of my secret formulas to my skill stacker program, a purpose-driven marketing plan, the science of strategic marketing. I did the same type of thing here on this deck. Very simple, very clean. As you can see here, these slides are very simple, but this is the kind of stuff, and this is a lot of slides. This is 32 slides. So I included some market data, some statistics. These are important elements you want to include in your decks so that people understand that you are the expert and you're educating them through the process. Education-based marketing, whether it's content marketing, sales, all of those aspects of your business is essential to building a successful pitch. And that's why I wanted to show you how I design my pitch decks. Now, one last thing I want to add is obviously the visual elements of it and how I design this. I think this is pretty important. If you look at the Purpose Driven Website Program deck that I just had open, you'll see here that I put really nice illustrations to go along with it to kind of fill in the deck so that it didn't look empty. I got these illustrations. I didn't create them from scratch, but I custom colored them to match the branding of the rest of the deck. So you can see here this one, this is an actual screenshot of a website that we did that actually needs to get adjusted and moved a little bit. This is all came from Adobe stock. And this is what made these things look beautiful. And I wanted to make sure that each of them kind of applied to that specific slide. So I didn't just create the text, but I also put market data, as I told you, inside there are quotes, right? That one's got a quote. This one's got a quote. This one's got some market data. These are just extra things and talking points that you can put in your deck to really build the value and the expertise in what you're doing. So when you design this stuff, you want to keep it simple. You want to keep it clean and you don't want to put too much text in them. That's one thing that I struggle with is simplifying it. Uh, but once you do that and you have a deck like this for all your different services, then you can make videos on them. You can lead clients and use them as magnets. There's just so much that you can do with a pitch deck. So I want to encourage you make a pitch deck for your graphic design services, for your web design services, your marketing services, your motion design, whatever that is that you're doing, make pitch decks for each of the services and productize them. And it's going to allow you to position them and price them much different from your competition. And you're going to be thanking yourself and you'll be thanking me. So if this was helpful for you, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What did I miss? Good feedback, bad feedback. I'm open to all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.